Hi, welcome back to Raunchy Reality Recaps. Now, in this video, we're going over Macy Bookout from Teen Moms. Now, it looked like she did an interview with Too Fab, and I saw an article from the Ashley's Reality Roundup. Now, I'll go ahead and link that article below as well. And it was discussing her relationship, well, co-parenting relationship with Ryan. So, as we all know, Ryan's been in jail for the past few months. And also on the news on him, apparently in his last hearing, the judge is going to let him go to rehab for 28 days instead of, you know, taking responsibility and staying in jail for a year to protect the mother of his children who he destroyed their house. So, yeah, I think a lot of people are outraged, overwhelmed, and everything about it. And only a couple from, I think, Grace Support and LB that goes in full detail on the whole outcome of Ryan's trial. Now, just to get into Macy's information, I'm going to go read over the article, and then we'll also go through it as well. And, you know, of course, I'll give my opinions here. So she apparently did an interview with Too Fab, and again, it, the Ashley, I'll link that as below. So in it, she states, obviously with all the crap that went down and him being in jail, now we're still in a good place, Maisie told the site during a video interview. And actually, we speak to each other often, very consistently and often, Macy added. But it's obviously just different now because we're not in person and he's not out here in the real world, and we're still going in a good direction. Which... I mean, I'm glad he's finally making changes, but he's still being forced to be sober by the county, basically. I think time definitely helped, but us being able to genuinely have a conversation and make commitments to each other as far as what our role is to make a better relationship and really start a relationship because we haven't had one in so long. Macy said, adding that all her co-parenting has uh, Bentley have previously been through Ryan's parent, Jen and Larry Edwards. <sighs> yeah, y'all. So she also goes on to say that um, I think it's crazy as it is because he's in jail right now. He shows up and communicates with Bentley, I think, more consistently now than he ever has, which is mind blowing. She told the magazine, which is not mind blowing. I mean, I don't understand. <laughs> like, it's not to me. It's I'm sorry. It's not mind blowing. The dude's in jail. He's probably being forced to get sober in jail right now. He's lonely. He doesn't have anything else to do besides sit there and I don't know talk to other inmates and the other inmates probably don't like his punk behind so he probably don't have nobody to talk to he probably can't get any um stuff in jail because I know you can get stuff in jail at some jails it just depends but he might not be able to get that so he probably is sober for the first time in the while and unfortunately the government is the one that's making him do that because they're putting him in jail and they're going to put him in a rehab instead of making him stay in jail longer. So after that 28 days, well, I mean, we'll see. I mean, it's great for her to want this relationship, but I mean, I think she, I mean, I'm glad she has hopes for it and everything, but I hope she's realistic about it as well. You know, I, and just to go on, she also said that although Ryan made really bad decisions and is paying the consequences for them, I'm glad to see that it hasn't stopped him from showing up or like calling and communicating because in the past that would have halted everything. Macy stated that she's been honest with Bentley about Ryan's recent issues. With Bentley being older, and unfortunately this is not the first time that something has happened with Ryan, Bentley and I have always had an extremely close relationship, but is also very open and honest. Which is good because, I mean, she puts her kid... It, 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 would, be, it would be a dumb move. Like... It would be a dumb move knowing that she's on TV, know that she puts her children on TV and then to not tell her children what's going on because they know their dad's, I mean, their dad's a public figure, basically. They, they're they going to either find it out from them finding it on online or one of their friends telling them. And then she also said, um, oops, never mind. 
I'm waiting for this one, to, <laughs> this page to go out. But yes, she basically is, I'm glad she has all this hope. I'm glad that, she, that Brian's communicating with Bentley. And I really do hope he does become sober. He does stay sober. But again, I mean, this isn't by his choice. Him getting sober wasn't by his choice. So, because we all know how he got sober. I mean, how he, I mean, he was literally went from the rehab, almost ended his life on um, possibly somebody else's. And they had to like shoot him up with Narcan to get him awake. So again, I'm glad she has high hopes for him, but I hope she's just realistic about it. And her son doesn't get his hopes up either. Like he's realistic about it too, because it, it just sucks when they break the heart, you know? So she also goes on to actually say that, yes, I will always be afraid that there's a chance it's going to be a disaster. But I think at the same time, I'm just like, you know what, what I can do and what I can't do. And that's all I can do. And I'm confident in that, which I'm glad they did put it in there because, again, like I said, it's glad that she's hopeful, but she's also needs to be realistic. And I do, you know, I'm glad she said that. And one thing I do feel like is I hope that her hope for him um, being a better father and I know she went and stood up in the court and everything, but I just hope that her support of Ryan doesn't impede the justice for McKenzie, you know, because he is dangerous. He destroyed that house. He destroyed his children's stuff, all that stuff. I mean, from her own police report, he stalks her, threatens her. I mean, you you violently, you know what, her, you know, ABU, you know. And I just hope that, you know, even though Macy really wants Bentley to have a relationship with Ryan, I just, again, hope her support doesn't, get in the way of Mace or McKenzie. There's so many M's. McKenzie getting justice and the support and just protection that she needs from that man. So again, I hope Ryan does get cleaned up. I hope this is his chance. I hope he realizes that, hey, I better get my act together. I'm going to completely lose every chance I ever gotten and every body that stood by me so hopefully he does get his act together y'all y'all have a great day like subscribe and share bye